my name is Steve Munson and I'm on the board of directors of the Old Bardstown Village. The Old Bardstown Village is located in historic Nelson County and in the town of Bardstown, Kentucky. This is a famous town. It's a very historical town. And what we have here is a complete, virtually a city block on one street of museums. And let me run down the, the, the names of the museums. And we start at the bottom. We have the Old Bardstown Village. That's where we started. It's eight original log cabins, historical log cabins, original. Depicting a, a village from the 1800s of historic Bardstown, Kentucky. We also have the Civil War Museum Battles of the Western Theater. This is an 8,500 square foot building featuring the finest collection of the Western Theater artifacts of the Civil War. Both Union and Confederate featuring some dynamic stuff. We got generals, both Union and Confederate, over 20 of them, artifacts in that. We have artillery pieces, I think approximately seven. We have a complete Navy uh, uh, wing of the museum, cavalry, infantry, and it's one of the finest of its kind, featuring all the battles of the Western Theater. And that's 8,500 square feet. And then we go from there up to another museum, which is on the same road, which is the Women's Museum of the Civil War. It's the only museum in the United States that features the women activities of the Civil War. And it's also in a historic building from the 1840s, restored. We have a collection in there, some precedented. Then the last building that we have on this historic, uh, we call it Museum Row here, is the original Opera House. And it's called the Hal Moore Museum, Lieutenant General Hal Moore. He was a native son of Kentucky. And this depicts the, the, the wars from the Revolutionary War to current. We have a collection that's unprecedented in there, and which is also featuring his personal artifacts. And if you don't know who Hal Moore is, he's a, a Vietnam uh, a general, fantastic general. Uh, all he ever thought about was his man and taking care of his man. And a movie was made with... Uh, I think it was Mel Gibson depicted him called we, we Were Soldiers. Fantastic display. And what we're trying to do, and, and I'm going to explain this opportunity to you to let you know what our goal is here. We've had this collection of, of various artifacts, uh, mostly featuring the, the Civil War facet of it and also throughout the other museums that's been on loan. And uh, we've been operating for over 25 years. And we operate, uh, I call it, in the black. We operate on our own ability. Uh, we don't ask for any operational grants. We make our own money and, uh, and pay our own people. We have volunteers and, and we have paid personnel. We maintain our organizations through grants, bricks and mortar grants, to maintain all these uh, these buildings, which is a uh, you know a, an undertaking in its own, but today we're asking for something special. The owners of the collections, which has been on loan here for uh, over 25 years, are aging and they want to retire, and and they have offered us the collection intact for two million dollars, and and we're trying to raise the money. Well, what they've done is they agreed to put in 500000 of the $2 million. So now we're raising $1.5 million. We've had a certified appraisal on this museum to the $2, $2 million count plus. And this is, you know, a collection of over uh, approximately of 100 years of collecting. And it's in the, in the family now. And... Uh, what, what, what they're concerned with is, is uh, the patriarch, if he dies, what happens to the collection. And uh, so, what, you know, th they've come to the conclusion that if we, we could purchase it through our organization, that it would give us the foundation uh, for this thing to last on and on for generations to come. 
and so that's what we're interested in. So we're 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 uh, out here to, uh, and we've got uh, a program set up. We're we're trying to initiate this thing with you know uh, to complete within a year. But the owners have agreed if we can come up with a program, uh, you know, it could take five years uh, to raise the funds. And here's what we're looking to. Today, I'm asking for the help of the veterans. The veterans have always been the core uh, of, of my collecting over the years. And I understand the veterans. I'm a veteran myself. And, you know, any cause that's ever arisen, it seems like the veterans, if they, you ask them to do it, uh, they'll stand up and be counted. So I'm appealing to the veterans of the United States, actually the veterans of the world. Of the world. I'm asking for veterans, old and, 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 and young veterans. And what we're asking for is, is help to raise this money. Now, our organization is, a, I'll give you a technical term, 501c3, which means we can give you a tax write-off uh, for your donation which that helps us with the corporations also and we'd love to have half a dozen corporations come in that, that uh, support history and join together and help us uh, with this feat. We like to say with the corporations we could do a certain percentage each year for a five-year period. Individuals, I don't care if you donate a dollar. You know a dollar is, is as much as a million one because it's from a veteran. And I understand veterans, and I think what we have a museum full of veterans. You know, all these artifacts belong to the guys that fought in the various wars, and you guys understand that, and I understand it. You know, I'm a veteran myself. So, you know, we want to reach out to a dis different facet of the GoFundMe people. You know, there's so many uh, of these things out there. This really has significance. It's an educational facility, and and it depicts history. And and it, you know, history is being swept under the under the rug these days. And we we want to offer it to you, and you can make your own opinion. I mean, we got the finest collection. You come in, and interpret it, interpret it your way. But it's there to interpret. We uh, each year schedule school groups, and they come through, and and then and they have their teachers and. And, and they get a, a real quick course on American history. We want them to know what American history is about and the sacrifices that everybody made. And, uh, and in Kentucky here, uh, a lot of the artifacts are from the, uh, the Kentucky region. And in the Civil War, Kentucky was brother against brother, and that's depicted in there. And, and again, I touch one more time on the, the Women's Civil War Museum and the sacrifices that the women made in the Civil War. And also uh, in World War I, World War II. My mother personally worked for the, uh, the USO in, uh, in Kentucky here during World War II. So it's the sacrifices of, of uh, all, all groups of people. But I'm making a plea for uh, 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 the behalf of the museum and I know that uh, it seems to me if anybody ever stands up and, and, and is counted, it's always the veteran. And so that's who I'm trying to reach out to today. Now we have a brochure here that we put together for the corporations, our individuals that don't make any difference. And it, it gives you some, some uh, uh, photographs, gives you the legal technology. We have two, uh, by the way, two volunteer attorneys on the board of directors that help us. And uh, so, you know, all the, the legal documentation for corporations is in here and for individuals also. And also we have a, for the corporations, we have a DVD that we produced and uh, gives you a guided tour uh, of the, the main museum, the Civil War Museum. You can go on to our website, uh, www.civil-war-museum.org. And you can kind of take a little tour of what uh, uh, the museums, and I say museums plural, are all about. And uh, this is a fantastic cause. And, and that's why we're reaching out to the veterans. Uh, you know, you know, history is, it, you got to know where you're going. And in order to know where you're going, you got to look behind you and see where you've been. Because history does repeat itself. And that's why it's important to us. And always, 
we're working on uh, upgrading and changing and different displays and different themes and and that's what makes our museum exciting and I, on a personal level the, when I go through there and see the looks on the kids faces it gives me a, a lot of joy I got a grandson and a great grandson that love to go through there so this is what we're we're doing today and you take a look at us uh, we're going to be uh, on this uh, you fund me uh, page and uh, if you just take the time to read it and veterans I'm, a, I'm appealing to you and I'm appearing, appealing to the organizations of the veterans, the American Legions, the VFWs, on and on and also the military you know there's military groups that, that would step up and help us we'd love to have federal financial aid here to save the museum but uh, I think you know you got a little little insight what we're trying to do so I'm going to let it go at that, and you can contact me personally through the museum. If you want to come down and visit, I'll personally give you a tour, and other people also. It's just that I'm myself. And uh, uh, explain what we're trying to do. I, I will meet with any board of directors of any corporations uh, and explain what we're trying to do. But anyway, uh, we're available, and we'd love uh, to make ourselves available, especially to the veterans. And like I say, again, whether it's a dollar or the full amount, every dollar is important. So from Steve Munson as a director on the board of directors of the Old Barstown Village, I bid you good day.